is just a bit too funny. <laughs> this is definitely one of those moments after my time in Washington. <laughs> Just out for a walk at night and <laughs> look I did not plan this but I am walking past Finra and I know it's late yeah I hope I'm not waking anybody up there's United Bank across the street can't <laughs> but the reason I have such a special place in my heart for Finra today is I remember these guys from back when I was trading equity options especially when we moved over to the New York Stock Exchange because let's just say the option trading floor wasn't entirely dissimilar. I mean, it wasn't quite as bad as the banks and government. I mean, that's a whole new level, but I mean, I guess you guys all, <laughs> the secret's out. I <laughs> lose my cool from time to time. But <laughs> I mean, that was one of the challenges there because essentially the way that would go is that basically, let's say, you know, I was the specialist. So we're in the trading pit and broker comes in with a customer order, places the order, trade's done, it's on the tape, everything's agreed and um, clear. And then for whatever reason, broker comes back five minutes later, oh, I had a customer error, you know, I had the wrong trade or this or that, and please, can you let me out? You know, then the stock goes against them even further, it's even more costly, and you know, like you sit there for the next couple hours with someone begging you. <laughs> goodness last couple of years was a real clusterfuck because then essentially I was kind of like the middleman between our headquarter desk and the brokers so I'd have the broker yell in my face all day while I'm trying to eat lunch or read Austrian economics like anyone with common sense would about trying to get out of the trade but then I, it wasn't really my decision at that point there was some other guy who was like no fuck him I don't want to run anything oh my god so it was good training for what we're doing these days. And then on top of it, let's just say that your average floor broker, not all of them. I mean, I actually know someone that I love who's a former broker. And so they, some of them can be real people. But the thing is, is that a lot of things would go wrong. And I mean, some, some people would have a good career at JP Morgan and the frustrating part is that you know you'd catch some stuff in rules violation Ooh, i gotta bring my old clerk kenny on he could tell stories i mean <laughs> can hear <laughs> if i'm making it up again but you know finra was, was the one that whenever something happened they were the judge they were the cftc of option land and there was this other guy who was a floor official named david i'll leave his last name uh silent because it's not important good guy and but it was like he would be like hey you got to report to finra i'm like all right I reported to finra they broke the rule again well, what do i do now and he's like i'm sorry man i'm <sighs> i swear this is not planned i i promise you this is not planned but you're not gonna all right i see there's a couple of my dear friends watching live at home what do you think i have i'm actually new to washington unfortunately i'm gonna be old to washington after tomorrow so i just went out for a walk i was listening to some music i'm not sure i'm going in the right direction towards my hotel i'm staying at <laughs> oh look so this was not a plan i swear it uh, so there is jp morgan chase of all the uh, bizarre things. There's one thing that is quite bizarre today that uh, for reasons probably best not to get into, I can't, I won't, I can, but I will not yet. I don't know, maybe the better way of putting that phrasing, I think people are noticing not just here, not just in uh, Silverland, not even just in the US, but I don't know. Yeah, I look around and the things I see happening is, <laughs> it's, I don't know. It. I know I've felt something's close to popping for a while, but whether it's politically or, you know, financially, a whole lot of things going on. And uh, 
Anyway, glad that I made it here to Washington this week. Uh, I'm really excited, by the way, on Palisades Radio. I did an interview with Tom today uh, in front of the Lincoln Memorial, which was quite exciting. Yar, if you're watching, perhaps you could get the link and put that in the description field below. Um, <laughs> Take a guess who's on this block. <laughs> the city! <laughs> Here's Wells Fargo. Lots of banks around here. And I guess when you have all that campaign money, you gotta put it somewhere. There's Citibank. We stopped in there yesterday. One of the uh, fellas that came, really nice guy, came and hung out. Uh, told jokes outside the CFTC's office. He went and asked them why they have two sets of books what their true derivative exposure is. I don't think it was this branch, but um, <laughs> not much of an answer on that one. So again, you know, there's a lot of things that are unfortunate. Certainly, you know, the wars and other things that are going on. I would really encourage uh, for people to do whatever you feel is necessary to express. Um, I would only advocate anything peaceful um, hope that's always clear. Did go by the, uh, I think I walked past the Capitol building today. And, you know, I understand there's a lot of people with a lot of frustration. I'm one of them. And, um, uh, hopefully there's always a better way to settle things rationally. And I don't know, I guess I've just chosen to <laughs> vent a little bit on camera when necessary and do what I feel is right. I guess sometimes I think about it where, I mean, I've thought about this stuff for a long time. I heard come past Finra again. I think I live in the other direction tonight. <laughs> but I don't know. There's not, I guess there's not really like a training manual or a course at Wharton to teach you how to handle when you find the stuff you find mm -hmm. and then you find the regulators do what Regulators do. Finra, did you ever answer my request from 2011? I got picked off. <laughs> so, which is why I will continue to focus on what is uh, important going forward. Uh, I guess that's my pledge. <clears throat> you know, I am I picking on J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs? Yeah, I hope the day they're ever done doing things I feel are just need to be stood up for or policed or violations or inappropriate. I hope I'll be smart enough to remember to be focusing on what's important, which I don't ever share this, but I think, gee, wouldn't it be nice if one day, you know, and, and that's part of why I'm leaving. Oh, wow. You're going to love this. That's part of why I'm preparing to leave the country. It's the second time I did it. I didn't plan to come back the first time. The governments told me I had to go back. I couldn't stay in Europe any longer. Um, brr, a little chilly here, but check this out on the bus stop. <laughs> National debt is 28 trillion growing. Peter Peterson Foundation, how about that? Wow, I don't know if uh, anybody else ever read any of the Peter Peterson books. That was actually the book where I read about those paintings, The Course of Empire by Thomas Cole that I was so moved by that I actually wrote an album to. It's right after I read Atlas Shrugged. John Michael Karma, I'm thinking of going to Mexico first. I don't know, I never, uh, or maybe not never. I used to see it as kind of the American idea where it's like you live in one place and I live here and this is my home and you know and I know some people for them that's right and um, I don't know maybe it's time to explore I mean I think how fortunate this position I'm in where you know I know all these companies that are out digging for silver in various places and you know have the opportunity in life to go and see different places so 
I don't plan too far ahead and just learning to appreciate the wonderful things that are happening and um, realize life is changing quickly in quite glorious ways. So sometimes a little wonder how <laughs> some of these things go, yet I guess uh, it's been helpful to have a inner peace, not about knowing the outcome, but I mean, that's what I've learned in my first 43 years to finally be okay with, you know, you do what you know and you feel is right. And if you do that, then whatever happens after that is, uh, is okay. And I guess it's just seemed easier. I'd rather do that than see the things that I see and not stand up and say something about it. So anyway, <laughs> Just some thoughts on a late night walk. And uh, there's Fidelity. Sounds like Wall Street down here. It's Fidelity, I don't know if you can see there. It's a bit cold, so I'm not gonna zoom in. But yeah, TD Bank over there. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine they have a 24 seven desk that would be in the mood to explain why. On, uh, I think it was Friday, January 29th, they limited <clears throat> Excuse me. They limited the purchases of First Majestic Silver. <laughs> I gotta check this. At least is how I, I'm pretty sure. I remember. I think they limited to like one share per customer. Which, I remember thinking that was funny. Like, I just say it's illegal. Like, what are you gonna do with like a one share? Like, thing goes up five bucks. You're like, yeah, I just covered the commission. <laughs> so. It's quite funny. Uh, one other note about First Majestic Silver. Proud sponsor to the show. And, uh, geez, I've never... I uh, hope I've ever had more respect and admiration for Keith Newmeyer and what he's gone through and understanding what it is involved in standing up against some of the established bases of power. Um... see what do we have over there anyway but I really appreciate the uh, folks who have helped along this journey that have have shared these things that I've learned from here's Eagle Bank <laughs> wow lots of banks in Washington and anyway hope you're all happy I'm gonna go get some rest ready to go home back home tomorrow and then wander somewhere in the globe Pablo, that's because Chris likes getting some alone time and listening to some music. Uh, had a nice dinner. Yara's here. Um, another fellow who came by the CFTC yesterday stopped by and everything is good. Glad to uh, be doing well and uh, really enjoyed everything we did. So I'm going to sign off for tonight, but have a great night, everybody. See you soon.